Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass here, and welcome back to Your Turn to Die. Also known as Doki Doki Make Friends with Green Hair People, Then Don't Trust Them Afterwards Simulator. Previously, we did the aforementioned thing, because we don't have any common sense. It's... It's broken. This time, Professor Mishima's monitor is broken. What is this? The old guy, he's... Who would do something so cruel? No good. Seems the computer in front is just for booting it up. The AI was stored on the monitor itself. Whose idea is to store an AI on a monitor? They should have had someone monitoring the situation. I know it technically was like a real person in that AI, and it's technically like murder, and I should make a light of murder, but still, I had to get my chops in. Mishima can't be booed up anymore. I won't let them get away with this. So, you did this, didn't you? What? Y you're wrong. I would never do such a thing. Uh, um. I don't know, your eyes kind of went dark, like you were lying. Kind of was with him the whole time. It wasn't so... Always with him, this late into the night. It's Kana's job to watch him, so we slept in the same room. That sounds kind of creepy. What? I was worried because she wouldn't let me leave, though it ended up giving me an alibi, huh? It wasn't so? I'm beat. Never run into a case with such an unclear motive behind the crime. Who was the first to discover this? That'd be this policeman here. It was you, KG. What was the situation? Ah, well, couldn't get to sleep, so I thought I'd have a chat with Mishima. When I came in, well, it looked just like this. Now could have done it. Is that true? Yep. It's a shame. It really is. What's this? Why do I get this sense like KG's telling a barefaced lie? Um, has something happened? Meow, don't come in, wolf! Huh? Professor! Now he's died twice in your life. Now. Just keep quiet. I'm not touching this for a 20 foot pole. I don't know what I should say. Professor Mishima is. Um, please don't look for the culprit. What do you mean by that? Please let me be alone for a little. Now. Hmm. No clues around that I can see. Meow. No bits of wood on the ground like when the mother monitor got broken, Wolf? Nope. Nothing. So the evidence was clean up this time. This is one nonsensical incident. We'll have to solve it right away, but... We need to rest. Let's do a detailed investigation tomorrow. As I can Reiko and Kutaro can wait till tomorrow too. You know that I'm remembering Deathmark all of a sudden? Just because they both had a, a kind of secondary lead that was just a tired cop detective who's just like very sardonic. He's like, like ah, we're all gonna die. Let's just get this over with. Mr. Policeman, you gotta find the culprit. Meow. Right. We'll find who it was. For now's sake, especially. Right now, we don't have the time. And now it's a new day. Okay. Let's do this. Yep. I don't know crap. Hmm. It was like Cage's question about the incident yesterday. Can't talk to the old guy anymore, Wolf. Got nothing else to say. Okie dokie, I'll trust you. Ooh, no side talk, Sprite. Oh, Sarah. Need something from me? Er... Let's just, let's just mess with him. Are you flirting? Yep, got rejected though. Stop spouting bullshit. Obviously he was just questioning me. Ooh, scary. 
You'd be a good detective, Reiko. If you're done blabbing the beat of Keiji. I'll keep up the investigation. See ya. Mio is gone. Sarah, I've got something for you. Can you come with me for a sec? Huh? Ah! I found something curious here. Something curious? I mean that glowing red thing? It's hard to see in the dark, but check out that wall. There's a mysterious switch on the wall. No, it's a switch there. What is this for? Dunno. But there's an interesting note here. Above the switch are the words bonus attraction. Bonus attraction? I mean, it's a red button, you gotta push it. Shazam. I'll push it. I said after I pushed it. What? You just wouldn't have pushed it, Sarah! Yay. With a loud sound, something moved. Along with my heart as I had a brief moment of excitement in this dreary life. Sarah! A door appeared. Is that... There's a piece of paper in the door. It reads... Room of lies. Reward. Ooh! Don't be fooled. If you tell me lies, you'll die. Is that lie right there? Warning, the bonus will close once someone clears it. Room of lies. It's a tenth attraction. What the hell's going on here? Shouldn't there be nine attractions? Yes, we heard that, but nothing makes sense here. Do we question anything anymore? Like, let's, let's go off the flow. And sick clear chips. It's awfully suspicious, isn't it? Hey, Sarah, did you check all nine attractions? Hmm? Specifically, how many clear chips do you get from each attraction? Of nine attractions, seven give two, one gives three, one gives four. Right. And all attractions gotta be done in pairs. Ah, oh, right. You know us yet. There's nine of us. That's an odd number. A person can't even re-enter an attraction once they've already cleared it. So each attraction will always end up with one person who can't do it. If everyone can form a pair goes around every attraction, the number of clear chips you can get is 84. And for nine of us to win, it requires 90. So we're short six. At least one person will die for not having enough. Six, then. If we beat this bonus attraction, it gives us exactly enough. Ain't no logic in avoiding this place, Sarah. If we hadn't discovered this attraction, someone would have died. Now it's just... Who does it? Who? Of course I'll do it. But but Reiko! And who to pair up with? Well, so can't be trusted for shit. He'd be good at lying though. Gin Kana now. I don't want to put him in danger. Kutaro. Probably needs compensation to convince. The guy guy's a realist. What about Keiji? No offense, Sarah. But I can't trust that guy. He's hiding something. A sexy tortured soul. That leaves Allison. So that leaves Alice, doesn't it? Nothing could be more awkward. I guess that's why I gotta do. Um Incidentally, am I not an option? You can't do that, Sarah. You're overworking yourself. You see their asses again and again, and I'm supposed to be older. I'm pathetic. I wanna be equals with you, Sarah. It won't satisfy me just to keep getting saved. Equals. Then don't be modest? <laughs> I don't know. Then please, don't be modest. You should choose the best option. If that's not me, then I understand. Sarah. I'm afraid to just wait around, too. You sure? You got the stamina for this? Yes. Hell yeah, I'm in your debt. Because really, I couldn't imagine anyone but you. But speed doesn't come out safe, partner. I grabbed Reiko's outstretched hand and gave her a firm handshake. The liquid trailed into my hand through a gap in Reiko's glove. Huh? It was blood. That was when I finally noticed. Reiko had scratches and bruises in inconspicuous places all over her body. She had been pushing herself. No doubt she challenged the attractions. Plus that dancing one I had her do. Turning clear chips for the powerless of us. Like Gina now. And surely there were more wounds on the thin hands within those gloves. Rego. What's up, Sarah? Forget it. Let's go.
Let's go. This is the Room of Lies. Pretty dark. You there, Sarah. Is Reiko gonna be death flagged for this one? She's getting a lot of character development. This is, she and Alice, this is kind of their chapter, it seems like. I'm gonna say... It's, it's either Reiko, Alice, or Kutaro is gonna go this chapter. Those three are up for grabs. Yes, let's look around carefully. I mean, there's only we can only like look a couple areas. There's a table at the center of the room. Is it okay to approach? Sure. I approach and examine the top of the table. These are clear chips, and on the right is a rope. On top of the plate with a rope-like object on it, there was also a note. This is the web of happiness, and the final attraction may just save your lives. But if it's a lie, the web of happiness. That's just telling me suspicious. Is it okay to touch? Sure. Rico, let's take these items on the table. Wait. In that case, let's do it together. Okay, well... Rico, you take the clear chips. Got it. Okay. I took the web of happiness. Huh? Suddenly the lights went out. What? Rico! Sarah, run away! Rico, Rico! What's happening? I reached Rico's hand at once and grabbed it. Let's run to the exit, Rico! Are you alright, Rico? Oh god, I knew it! What? Rico's glove. Rico, how did we not notice we were just carrying a glove? She's still in the room of lies. The door is firmly shut. No. Bring someone else. I, I need to bring someone. We need to open this door. Eh. What? Ah, scary as shit. Huh? Are, are you okay, Rico? Why do you have two gloves and I have one glove? Then whose hand was I holding? I notice it still does this bug out where Sarah's name lingers, but I've always been able to like to tell who's talking just by their tone of like wording. Yeah, I wasn't scared. Something the matter, Sarah. Or um as long as you're okay. Relax. I didn't drop the clear chips. Sure enough, she has all six. I got a cold sweat when it went pitch black. But you told me I was freaking out. I wonder if she doesn't like the dark. But wonder what that was. You know, what was the lie part? Hmm. Lie is that there's a lie? I wonder if they're saying there's a, there's a lie is a lie. Seriously? Ain't that some trick question for kids? Huh. What do we do with these dubious clear chips? I was thinking I'd give them to somebody who's having trouble collecting them, but... Sarah, you need one? Huh? Look, I get being wary, but you got a right to have some. Should I send the suspicious clear chip? Okay! We're just plowing right ahead. We both were slight and limb for these. I'll take one. There you go. Huh. Rico's hand. Wait. Is this glove? Uh, oh god. Not yours, Rico. Huh? What's that? Rico was already wearing gloves in both hands. Yeah. That's mine. What if the lie is that that's not Rico? Andrew. Why have got, Sarah? When I pulled your hand earlier, I... Uh... Pretty sure nobody pulled my hand. What? Then what's this glove? Huh. <sighs> Must be one of my spare gloves. You have spares, really? Yeah, I arranged to put full chains of the clothes in our rooms, remember? But I don't remember bringing this. I gave Rico her glove back. Well, thanks anyhow. We should get going, Sarah. The room of lies. Did what was that? This web of happiness. What could it be? No use in worrying about it, I guess. Maybe it's about time to do an interaction. I wonder if Keiji found the culprit. This is gonna come back to haunt me so hard, but I don't care because I want to be entertained.
If without the professor, I'm fine. Now. I don't want to talk to you, you're evil. Something's going down. Awful, isn't it? KG's talking to Alice. What's that? Understand! Find the personal info, it's the only way! What are you chatting about? <laughs> uh, uh, Sarah Jiro and. Just doing a little questioning. Looks like I'm doing my day job, huh? No, not especially. Ah, too bad. What was that? I thought over something totally unrelated to the monitor incident. Maybe about that whole thing about him buying Reiko's chips? What are these prize victim videos? I suppose I'll just start buy things out towards the end. I want to do Runaway Minecart for a long time. Kitaro actually makes us harder. So I just hate. And Guinea is actually overall bear. So I guess we'll part with a few. I'm gonna ride in the car of Big Sarah Meow. Runaway minecart begin. What is this, Donkey Kong? We'll get through this together. I'll protect with Sarah's meow. Runaway minecart rules. Ride in the minecart toward the goal. Deal with the obstacles that appear in the way and reach the goal from the time limit. Wooden wall rapidly touch to destroy. Iron wall mash on the screws to destroy. Bats touch a danger sign to evade. Speed touch the speed limit to accelerate. We'll be fine. A little more meow. Good luck, Wolf. Oh, it's mainly time. This is basically a cookie clicker game. Speed up. Do it. This is just this is awkward. I guess you need to make this really easy. I have not even seen a wood one come up. Yeah, you punch that wood with your mind. There was no jumps. Won the battle. Woohoo, big sis Sarah. We the ultimate team, Wolf. Let's share these starts too, Meow. If big Sarah, one for me. With that, this attraction is done. Time to negotiate. With folks I don't like. Or at least one folk I don't like. Maybe two. Sarah, this isn't a token trade, but you talk of So and I? I really want to. I'm more or less gone back in good health. I say I want to talk if you have time. The three of us should be safe. Before I just talk to you and reload. Sir, I'm it's about Reiko. I want to ask you something. Sir, I'm asking something odd, but... Hasn't Reiko been acting strange? Huh? What do you mean? It's Miley. 
I only want to say here. Rico acting strange. What did you forget? We promised to trade for the treasure, but once you collect Rico's tokens, right? Did you think you would be relieved of duty once you come in the tokens? See it for the last, Sarah. Right, that promise. Okay, double check. I made a save. And let's see what the walking liabilities have to say. Hooray! Thank you so much. So, have your memories come back? Nah. I heard about most things from Kana. I guess I was hit in a pretty bad spot. I wonder who attacked me. I think it was Kutaro. He really insists on saying he was attacked. If so, is telling the truth, then... Would the person who destroyed the first mod and your attacker would be the same, I wonder? Yeah, I wonder. When the monitor was broken, there were wood chips on the floor nearby. And I was hit with a plank of wood. Then, what about Mishima's monitor? It'd be typical to assume that was the same person, huh? Khan and So stuck together. They didn't go to the monitor room, so they didn't see the culprit, but... So at the very least, it wasn't So who broke Professor Mishima's monitor. But as for the first one, only someone who was within the group at the time could have destroyed it. Surely, that can only be So. Sure enough, one of us destroyed it, huh? But there isn't anyone, is there? It went besides us. Do you mean of our survivors? No, Kana was thinking. Of people on the kidnapper's side. We don't know how many kidnappers there are. They seem to come out of the woodwork. Ranger Saffling called themselves floor masters, but if there was lurking, we wouldn't know. She's right. If there were mysterious others in the shadows, then any amount of reasoning would be pointless. But with the kidnappers destroy one of the monitors and themselves prepared. Ah. Uh, I get that you don't want to suspect your allies. But the nine must have done it. I... I'm praying it wasn't Miss Sarah. What? What are you talking about? I couldn't do something like that. I pressed the person perspective. That's right. Apologize to her, so... So sorry. So, you suspect a little too much. If you can't trust anyone, it's all over. Still, so is not a thinking. It's certainly one possibility, and one I would have personally enjoyed, so I would have remembered. Sarah, but... Kana, if you're saying that, does that mean you trust me? Kana. Kana trusts you so... Eh? You've lost your memory now, so, but in the main game, you're really terrifying. But Kana thinks, if you weren't there, maybe we would have all have died. It's clear that you're very serious, so... So, please tell me. Just what mindset are you operating under? The same as everyone else's. I don't know, you're, you're kind of such a wild card. We'll be going on a little long, huh? Kana, let's go. Dodging the question, huh? Huh? Hold on. He ran away from me. Well, that's it for discussions. Good. I was getting a little uneasy. What do you want to ask about, Reiko? Er, can we move away a little bit first? Um, so... Isn't Reiko acting strange? Hmm... Something's odd. Something does it feel a little... off. Huh? Like what exactly? Her... Her behavior. Her personhood? Like Reiko's behavior. That's right, something's odd about it. Reiko seems somehow... cold. There's something about her attitude. Has there been any kind of change with Reiko? She went in the room of lies. The Room of Lies? Yes, she didn't tell you about it. No, I didn't hear anything. Sure enough, that's odd. Maybe Ranger is like a master of disguise? Should she have given out the clear those clear chips from the Room of Lies to the others? Um, Sarah? Do you know about the wound in Reiko's right hand? Wound. Come to think of it. When I gave Reiko a handshake, a bit of blood dripped down along my hand. Really? Yeah. Reiko must be hiding something. 
What does Raroon have to do with it? Because other Rago probably doesn't have one. Well, actually... Oh, never mind. I still don't know what Rago's trying to do myself. It's just clear to me she's hiding something. Hiding something. With that secret, if it's something she's shouldering for our sake, then I want to help her. Because we're friends. Now... I'll help you too. You two are friends to me too. I'll assist you now. Would you really? Thank you very much, Sarah. I'm glad I could talk with you. Well, that's for discussions. How to reload? Click Reiko's token to plan trade for her treasure. It's time to execute the plan. Of course, the Reiko tokens you gathered are already here in my hand. Now let's go to the prize exchange. May your brazen nosey just push me up forward. When me men are speaking. All right, I'll buy it. Are you ready? Yes. Oh, my stomach hurts. He's been like this for five minutes now. What should I do? You're a big softy, aren't you? Whoops, saved you the wrong one. Eh, it's whatever. Um, can you trade for Reiko Yabasami's treasure here? You can. It may be purchased for 20 of Miss Reiko's tokens. Here's 20 tokens, trade it to me. Certainly. This is Miss Reiko's treasure. You may now take it. Those are... the bongos I gave Reiko. I knew it. Impossible. You say her... Reiko's treasure is worth the present I gave her. I thought there was some mistake. Some mistake of yours, Sarah Chidoin. Give me the whole... <laughs> you seem happy. You seem happy, Alice. Sorry for poking fun, but I bet you were hoping for this. You want to repair your relationship with Reiko, don't you? I am not a person who asks selfish things. I intend to atone for my crime, for the victim's family and for my own. If only it weren't for this death game. There's not enough time left to do this in the proper order. So just once before I die, I... I want to apologize to Reiko. Sarah Chudwin. Thank you. I will give her the bongos. Right. I wonder if that's enough. As the one who brought it up, I feel some responsibility to watch over this. Should I go after Alice? It's gonna be the weird... evil Reiko or something weird, and she's not gonna remember it. Alice and Reiko are talking to Lompey. If it's nothing, then I'm out of here. Well, wait, Reiko! Aren't those bongos yours? That's... Why do you... I found them at the prize exchange. I'm surprised. I fought you long since throwing them out. Or, you know, I don't know. It could be her, but maybe she saw something that we don't know about. Yeah. I always felt about tossing him. But I could never do it. Because of me, right? That day... When you see me that letter telling me that you were cutting contact... Rather than shock. I just thought, yeah, I figured. You are a musical demon overflowing with talent. I thought you were quick to forget your garbage. Dead with brother living life that suited you. I told myself to, that to find relief. To confirm that my actions had no effect on you. But... You couldn't throw away those bongos. Huh. <sighs> they sell these just anywhere. The traces of use and the careful maintenance conceal that fact. The more I look at them, the more they look like traces of your suffering. Ugh. Shut up! What are you getting at? Reiko, let me apologize. I made you and our parents suffer for so long. It may sound flimsy, but it's how I really feel. I'm truly sorry, Reiko. Would you accept these? Alice offered the bongos, hands trembling. Reiko took the bongos, seeming unable to bear it and threw them to the ground. Huh? R Rico? Such a piece of shit. Didn't I tell you? I was always thinking I'd throw these damn things out. Rico, 
Don't act like a big brother, Alice. You and me are complete strangers now. You think this will crap will let us reconcile? You even realize you took a person, person's life. For two and a half years, I never once forgot about my crime. Then why would you ever interact with me again? Don't get my goddamn way, murderer. This is awful. I believe they'll be able to reconcile. I've never seen Rekka look so terrifying. Because it wasn't a matter for an outsider to speak on. But... Please wait, Reiko. Sarah! Don't meddle with us, Sarah! But, but... <sighs> Reiko. Uh... Go after Reiko? Please wait, Reiko. Don't come after me, Sarah. Why would you do that? This is between me and Alice. But... Was that how you really feel? Is that really how you feel? That's right, I've always kept it in. There is something I wouldn't let out on him. But why did you treasure the bongos until now? Hell if I know. I just couldn't toss him. Rico. I didn't want you to see this, Sarah. I now lost my cool. But listen, this is our problem. I didn't do that because I wanted to. Rico. Don't look at me anymore. I'm not gonna be able to look you in the eye. It hurts. I can't imagine Reiko truly hates him. But I couldn't do anything for the relationship. I'll leave. I'm very sorry. I left the hallway disappointed. Hey, Sarah. I heard a feeble voice behind me. Do you hate me now? Of course not. No. It's because I like you that I can't turn a blind eye. I see. I trust you too, you know. For real. Hearing Reiko's voice on the verge of tears, I couldn't bring myself to turn around. Sarah! Ah, what is it? Whoa, sorry for scaring you. Just wanted to come to just want you to come to some place. Come over to the ruined corridor, you hear? And don't keep me waiting. What in the world is it? You're here. Nobody saw, right? No, where are we going? This is your passage. There's a gap in the rubble here. Can you fit through? There's a gap here. Where does it lead? <laughs> That's for you to see. Where is this? Why is there so many secret rooms in this place? Beep boop. A machine emitting red light. This is a computer. No good. It doesn't seem to boot up. Huh. You're late. This way, this way. KG! Quiet. Try not to alert anyone to this place, just in case. Did you switch out the bot- the Mishima monitor? And smash it or something, and like he's in here and he's like, I've hacked into the complete frame. Kutaro finally found it. Found what? Kai's laptop, of course. What? Kutaro produced a laptop computer from behind the rubble. What have you guys been up to? It was unquestionably Kai's laptop, the one we found on the first floor. You found this here? Yeah, sure did. But this laptop should have vanished from the first floor after Kai retrieved it. Why is it here in the third? Beats me. But it's no mistake, this is Kai's laptop. The possibilities I can think of are... I remember someone collected this and put it here. Or... Kai put it here. Hold it, guys. Take truth later, alright? Sarah Cage, I called you over so you could break into this laptop. I can't use a computer for beans. <laughs> Investigate what's on it. Let's give it a shot, Sarah. Alright. Okay, it's on. Please, give us some good info. Anything. Wait a second, we should come up with a plan first. What data to look for? Laptop quietly boot up and spit a password entry screen. Huh. Not good. Battery indicator. What? Shoot, it's still nearly drained. It's okay, I know the password. So much in the main game. 
password is true to in my family's name. I entered the password. Password's incorrect. Damn it, Kate! So you lied! What? The password's wrong! What the? You're kidding, what's going on? Why? Kai changed the password, maybe? Kai changed the password. That's the only explanation. What do we do? The password's at 4%. Sarah, that's something only you would know. Only I... If Kai had really had a connection to your family, I better use a password we couldn't guess. That doesn't really narrow it down. I don't know, my family's just normal. Probably not. There's nothing special to try. Kai, just what were you thinking? A connection to me. Okay, Sarah, now you suddenly remember this? Our family's got a hero in the shadows, Sarah. Father. I entered another password. Starting up. Welcome. Whoa, nice work, Sarah. Alright. Dad. I just typed in Dad's name. Did you... No, Kai. The battery's on 3%. What do we do? First, we drop the brightness. Emails. Let's check the email So talked about. Okay. The email log. So suspected Kai after reading those. We need to confirm whether those were real or all lies. I opened Kai sent emails. Same email. 70 people have been secured. I feel deep affection for Miss Sarah as well. I will certainly protect her. I'm prepared to offer myself up for the Chudo ones. It's about time. If any harm comes to Sarah Chudo, I will stand against even you as an enemy. Miss Sarah is looking forward to the game. Surely her friend will also take part. There they are. Yep, exactly what So said they were. Then So wasn't lying. Huh? Wait, these emails. We just read them in reverse order. The newest to the oldest. Sarah, there must be received emails corresponding to these two. Oh. So maybe the first one is he's just like, Hey, you got this like cool new um interactive like game. Yeah, you know, this girl would probably like, you should like totally like kidnap her for it. She can win a million dollars. She's like, oh, okay. It's like, psych, it's a death game. It's like, oh, crap. Right, I'll check. I opened consoles and received emails. There, sure enough, there were conversations over email. Show them out. Rearrange them in the proper order. I stored the emails and began reading. It should tell us Kai's actions. Grouping most one. Hello, hello. Did you know? Sarah's going to the board game meetup. What if she's going alone? Papa's worried she might make some bad friends. Hmm? Kai, I never told you, so when you find out? I swear the only time I have any idea what you're up to is when you're at home replying from your computer. Oh, well, keep up the good work. Pick up the guard work, rather. Thanks see a million. This is an inspired message. That's exactly how my dad types. So your pops and Kai were in communication. Guard work, what's that about? Grimos 2. Kai, you betrayed us. Betrayed the organization, betrayed me. It's about time. If any harm comes to Sarah Chidwin, I will stand against even you as an enemy. Unforgivable. It's all come to nothing. Just try and struggle with your puny arms. Hey, the guy in this email. It's not my father. From the context, maybe one of Kai's parents. It says Kai betrayed the organization. Organization. Kai, just what were you doing? Hello, hello. Feeling kind of in danger lately. Okay, it's Sarah they're after. She's being targeted. I'm attached to this house, but I guess I gotta discard and run. Will you come with, Kai? I feel deep affection for Miss Sarah as well. I will certainly protect her. I'm prepared to offer myself up for the Chudoins. Oh, Kai, you really are the greatest hero ever. Thinks he's a million. Dad, why are you so quirky? I never conversation with my father. Dad knew that something would happen. Discard the house and run. Sarah, were you playing, making plans to move soon, say? I didn't hear about that. I didn't hear anything. Settled out. Keep reading. Goopy Moons are four. Are you the contact? You should know not to use this address. I'll hear the report to follow the rules from now on. 
As planned, 70 people have been secured email. I see, you've done well. A most futile effort. Thought you could pretend to be my contact and disrupt things, Kai. You're at home right now. Away from the Chidwin house, aren't you? I've got a tip for you. The phrase you just sent X people have been secured is a trigger that sets a plan into motion. You fell for the trap, Kai. Sarah Chidwin will be captured soon. Thank you, he's a million. This one is. For the day of the kidnapping. <laughs> ah, so Kai was trying to. He's trying to infiltrate him. What's the idea? I'm not falling at all. So Kai was completely innocent. He wasn't a stalker. At least, he was a legal one anyway. Quotation mark. And he was completely trying to help. So we just killed a perfectly good person who was good at cooking for no reason. Thanks, green hair characters. I'll sum it up. Kai was in correspondence with two people. One was Sarah's father. And the other was... One of Kai's parents, who belonged to the kidnapper's organization. It seems Kai betrayed the organization. He chose to instead protect Sarah. And through that, on the day of the kidnapping, Kai sent a fake email to the organization. Maybe the idea was that it disrupt the organization, letting Sarah escape. But his ruse was fully exposed. He just got used instead. Cause Finky's a million was a sign off used between Kai and Sarah's dad. The emails were going straight through. All their exchanges went to the organization. No way. Then, then, Kai wasn't a stalker at all. He guarded me in secret, to protect me. And the only time Kai left his guard duty, it was when we sent emails from home. That's one crafty trick. Even after his cover was blown, I'm sure Kai was still trying to warn me. That night, coming home with Joe, that's why he stood in our way. Then I remembered what the stalker had been saying. Don't go home. This is so awkward and so sad. The battery's gone dead. Couldn't get any info related to escape after all. But still, sure enough, Kai wasn't a good-for-nothing villain. Is that information really... beneficial? There's still things we could check. If we can just get it charged, we'll boot this laptop back up. Sarah. You hold on to it, Kitaro. Me. Yes. For the time being, let's not tell everyone else about this. It's a secret weapon just for us three. Make sure you don't spill the beans. I gotcha. That's all then. We should act just the same as yesterday. Yeah. I'll hide the laptop on my bedroom and go do an attraction or something. We should get going too. Yes. We left the rebel filled room. Day two. Noon. Huh? Kana's alone. What happened, I wonder? Gin, do you have some tea? Hmm, I want soda, meow. I don't have any, so is coffee okay? What would it be, wolf? Oh yeah, some dialogue. How long has my body been like this? Hmm? I'm sure Alice would. He's wondering something. Huh. What's up, Sarah? Nothing. Feels like he's plotting something. Sarah! Kana, you're almost so. He doesn't even feel well, so he's sleeping. And it seems Alice is keeping an eye on him. Alice? Yes, it seems he has a kind side, too. Is it kindness, I wonder? Well, that's nice. Alright, Alice, now do him in. That's nice. Guarding him must be tiring. Yes, I'm just a little tired. Well, should we rest together? Uh, um, I'd like to, but... Er, Sarah, 
I found something curious while exploring. It was over toward the ruined corridor. It could be that room we found, could it? Sarah, I'd like you to come with me. What should I do? Let's go together. Got it, let's go together, Kana. Thank you so much. Okay, we've made it to the Rune Corridor. This way. It's through a passage in the back. This is a different passage from the Rubble Room. Sure is dark. Who knew this was here? If you go all the way back, it's even darker. She seems likely a trip. Don't let go of me now, Kana. <laughs> of course... I'm, I'm sorry, I mean Sar Sarah. No, it's fine. <laughs> Being with you like this... It really feels like I'm with my sister. I didn't know what to say to that. In place of words, I held Kana's, Kana's hand as we walked through the dark. Here it is. There's a door right here. It's pitch black. Did you peek inside? No, Kana and So both lacked the courage to open it. Unless you're using me as a patsy. Ah. Uh, I'm going first. If it's not dangerous, you follow. Huh? What's this room? Strange. It feels like I've been here before. Kana, it's okay. Come on in. As I was saying that, I turned around. What? Hold on, this is... The first trial room. Bad memories surfaced in my mind. The very first death trap I was tested by here. If he hadn't made the proper judgment then, I would have died. But I wonder why. Something feels different here. I'm coming in. Kana. Ah. 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 This is the room where my sister was because of me. Calm down, Kana. I held Kana tight. I firmly, firmly restrained her trembling shoulders. Sorry, I'm getting distraught. I'm fine now. Kana, I'll leave the door open. Wait outside of the room for me. Okay. This was Kana and her sister's room where they took this that same trial. I can't make Kana search it. Cell phone? There's something on the ground. It's a smartphone. If Kana and I had the exact same trial, this was probably the phone used to play the voice instructions. Did the kidnappers forget to collect it? Since it's here, Kana's sister might have had it. Which means... Maybe there's some message left on it. A message from just before her death. I have a bad feeling. I don't want to touch it. I'm scared. Watch it be. I hate you, Kana! You gotta be squashed! Oh, it's some clue. Please let my bad feeling be wrong. Picked up the smartphone. It didn't have a password on and unlocked easily. The moment it opened. Oh ho 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 it is! Oh, it is what is sheet. You abandoned me. You awful sister, I hate you. Go die. Just die, con a murderer. I'll curse you from hell. And well, anyone could have that. That could just be a trap from the, the hosts. This can't be. This is just too much. Kana's sister died. Loathing her. I can't... I can't tell Kana that. Sarah, are you okay? No! I mean, don't come in. Kana's behind me. What's the matter? It sounds like you yelled something. Three steps away. Not good if she sees the phone. Change the message. My hands are shaking too much to type. Sarah, can you hear me? Two steps away. Stay calm. Erase the message. I'm swinging so much my taps don't register. Did you find something? One step away. Hide the phone. Kana, someone's coming. What? I slid the phone in my hands under the bed. <laughs> Is there someone there? Someone I managed to hide without Kana noticing. Yes, yeah, sorry, did I surprise you? I came to call for you, Kana. 
So, so you were here. Huh, <sighs> quite the dark passage that was. Alice too. Kana Kazuchi, rejoice. Tell the three of us trade tokens. Huh, tokens? Yeah, we should talk in a place like this. So let's head back for now. I understand. Um, thank you very much, Sarah. I was saved by coincidence. I know that feel. Huh? Aren't you leaving, Miss Sarah? Oh, uh, yes. If I took the phone now, so would find out. I'll recover it later. They say I come back to haunt us so bad. <laughs> us three will do the token trade. Sarah Children, you should take a hike. Okay. God, as long as they're here, I can't get to go get the phone. I'll have to come later when there's an opening. Until then, I'm going to do attractions, I guess. Kana's trial room. Oh, yeah. Same dialogue. So we just got to do an attraction. We haven't done anything in this room at all. Quick draw might be fun. Dang it. So it's good for this game. I've worked in Reiko a lot. Okay, that's part of now. Thank God. Understood. I was very like I'm drawing a picture. Quick draw begin. We'll start with me. Good luck out there, Sarah. Quick draw rules. Open symbol will suddenly print the screens with the same weapon to attack. If you choose late, your opponent will attack first. Choosing wrong will also get you attacked. This is the, just the, the one mini game from Kirby Star. Superstar. Kinda. Oh, why duh. Gun beats all. Blat, blat. Yeah, that's right. I piped you. What you gonna do about it? So far, they've been going like in order. Oh god, it's a... It's a Revenant. Gum boom plan normal cop. Blah blah. Not fucking beat my spoon gun. Blah blah. We done, Sarah, and we made it back safely. Let's share the clear chips. With that, this attraction is done. Negotiations. Well, I think it's the same Reiko, but... Or is it? Like, is it... Is there, like I said, is there androids in this game? We see some crazy stuff, it's not out of the picture. I'm gonna think about stuff. In the end, your own, own tokens are useless, right? So I wanted to make sure I couldn't trade some for some primes, items at the prize exchange. So how about it? Furry tokens, let's trade. So if it's okay with you, could we trade furry tokens? Um, I've been too scared to trade tokens at all. I've been worried that trading will lead to something bad happening. But everyone else seems to be doing it, so now it's just making me uneasy. If I can trade with you, I'll feel secure. Sarah, you got some time? Wanna have a chat without trading for once? Never sent out for a chat before, have we? In a lot of cases, we have the time. It's fine if you're busy, though. How about it? Hmm. I guess we'll do you first, then reload for tokens.
You get enough rest. You're looking pretty pale. Huh? Am I really? Yep. You wouldn't put somebody who's gotta look like that on the mound. Is that a baseball thing? Yes, it is. Right, didn't have any interest in baseball, did ya? My bad. Yeah, I just remembered you're a baseball player. Sick at string, though. Injuries are scary stuff, you know. Could off the team in worst cases, so I'm grateful just to be kept at second string. And I grew up in an orphanage. Didn't have parents knew sports or nothing. Wasn't blessed with a coach either. Evan Power alone got me to the pro leagues. To face the big players, you just gotta practice. Guess that notion made me punish my body. It's before my big moment. I wouldn't have wrecked this tough bond of mine. So you push yourself too hard. You wouldn't really know that looking at you how you are basically built like a rock. You got it. That's why you shouldn't either. Keep your health in check. Eat tasty and healthy, sleep well, exercise. I will. Well, you got parents to tell you that, so... You like your parents? Yes. Figured as much. There's a difference between lonely peeps and love peeps. From Kai. I said it's the scent of a lonely person. Don't know nothing about the guy, but... As somebody of the same kind, I want to see his dying wish through. So that's why they... He kind of related to him pretty easily. Kutaro. My bad. I wanted to make this a breather, but it got too serious. Oh yeah, Sarah. You got any guys you like? Why well, yeah, I said all of a sudden? I kind of dig KG a little bit. But he could be like... I don't know if there's like, going to be a twist with him later or not. But he's my kind of character, you know, he's still really cool. He's kind of, like I said, he's like the character in Death Mark. I like that kind of, that kind of character. Guy leaves one at school. That's just you for you. He's so crude about. I love everyone. I love everyone. But just no one I can hate. So you kept the sign just one. Don't go cheating on anybody here. That's not what I meant at least. I think to do so that'll be all to an tail, huh? Well, that wraps up discussions. Good shit. I'll pour some coffee. Thank you very much. Huh, what's up? You nervous? No, of course not. Hey, Sarah. I'm not up to something, okay? I just thought it'd be good to get trading some tokens. Just holding on to your own seems to be pretty pointless after all. You can even trade for clear chips using other people's tokens, can't ya? Yeah, she's right. Or it's pretty too many. Ah, Sarah, let me guess. You afraid of me knowing your personal info? Huh. That's right, if I trade her a 30 now, Rake will have to refer to my tokens too. I wanna know yours. Oh yeah! You know mine too, huh? Damn it. I don't know what they wrote, but. I bet they didn't write about that one time of that other time, right? Have some things to hide in your past. Hmm. Technically I won't, because I gave them to uh, Alice. Huh. Nothing but. An embarrassing thing or two, like no one enemy does, you know? Embarrassing things. Don't think about it. Listen, Sarah. Let's unlock each other's info, okay? Our pride is getting clear chips, right? That's true, but... Embarrassing things. Here, Pinky promise. A vow between women. She forced me wrapped her pinky around mine and we made a promise. Well, for whatever we trade or not, I respect your wishes, Sarah. What do you say? We trade 30 tokens? 30. That's quite a few. Should I still go through with this trade? Understood. Let's trade, Reiko. It's a deal, Sarah. Well, that's it for negotiations. It's about time I go collect the smartphone Kana's sister left. I absolutely can't let Kana find out about it. 